Taiwan's decision to shoot down a drone flying over a Taiwanese-controlled island off the Chinese coast was the most appropriate action to take after repeated warnings, Taiwan Premier Su Zhengcheng said. Taiwan's military shot down the first unidentified civilian drone that entered its airspace near the outlying Kinmen Islands, which are next to China's Xiamen City, on Thursday. According to Taiwan's military, the drone was shot down after entering restricted airspace near the tiny Xiyu, Lion, Islet and crashed into the sea. Su told reporters on Friday that Taiwan had issued numerous warnings and had asked them not to encroach on our doorstep. They repeatedly ignored our warnings to leave, leaving us with no choice but to shoot in self-defense. After repeated restraint and warnings, this is the most appropriate reaction, he said. Su added that China should exercise restraint. We will never provoke, and we will always do what is necessary to protect our land and people, he said. According to the Kinmen Defense Command, flares and warning shots were fired, but the drone remained in position and was shot down shortly after noon on Thursday. The command stated that the drone was for civilian use, but did not specify whether it had been recovered or what weapon was used to bring it down. Taiwan had earlier warned of drones hovering over three of the islands it controls off the coast of the Chinese port city of Xiamen. According to the Taiwanese military, nearly 450 Chinese military aircraft incursions into Taiwan's air defense identification zone have occurred this year. Tensions between Taipei and Beijing have risen since U.S. House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi's controversial visit to self-ruled Taiwan last month, to which China responded with more than a week of military live-fire drills and waters around the island. According to Kichlia Yinfan, a military and cyber affairs consultant for Taiwanese think tank DoubleThink Lab, China's military appears to be stress-testing Taiwan's defenses through increased air incursions. Such defense testing also establishes a new normal for Taiwan's response to China, according to Liao. The drone was shot down after the Taiwanese government promised to take action in response to an increase in such intrusions. Tsai Ing-wen, Taiwan's president, said on Tuesday that she had directed the military to take strong countermeasures against what she called Chinese provocations. Soon after, Taiwanese forces fired the first warning shots at a drone. At least two videos of recent drone trips have gone viral on Chinese social media, with Taiwanese soldiers seen throwing stones at the craft in one of them. Su, the premier, stated that the videos were created for home propaganda in China further infuriating the Taiwanese people. On Monday, China's foreign ministry dismissed Taiwan's drone complaints as nothing to make a fuss about. Despite Taipei's strong objections, China considers democratically governed Taiwan to be its own territory. Since the defeated Republic of China government fled to Taipei after losing a civil war to Mao Zedong's communists in 1949, Taiwan has controlled the Kinmen Islands, which are only a few hundred meters feet from Chinese territory. During the Cold War, China regularly shelled Kinmen and other Taiwanese-held islands off China's coast, and while they still have a significant military presence, they are now also popular tourist destinations.